Savello, Caledonia, and Guy Kiss TV present Big Stupid Ride! And in other news, the infestation of feared pandas in the Florence region is now reaching epidemic proportions, with locals being warned to stay indoors and not go anywhere. Oh, hey Jacob. The boxy, quirky little Italian uh -huh. terrorists. Savella Caledonia. Film. Big stupid rides. Okay. And there's one in the workshop already. And you've taken the front derailleur out because I'm a mountain biker who can't be trusted with gears. Uh huh. And you fitted big blue wheelchair tires because I'm kind of old. But Big Brian doesn't want any gravel in. Okay, cool. Yeah, I've got an idea. Speak to you later. So that is Hadrian's Wall, which means this is the edge of the Roman frontier, which means that is Caledonia. And so is this. And that means it's time for some Vene Vidi Velo action because this is Caledonia. But in all seriousness, this is a bike that's on kind of the frontier of road riding right now. 1900 years after the Romans decided that this was almost as far as they wanted to go into Scotland. I mean, let's gloss over the Antonine Wall. This is the famous one. This bike is kind of shows exactly what you can do with a modern road bike. And that's kind of the whole idea of coming up here to this frontier zone. So we're going to do a bit of exploring, a bit of chatting about the bike, a bit of Roman history, a bit of Savello history. If you're from the UK, you might know that Hadrian's Wall is built in AD 122. That's 1901 years ago. If you're from America, that's even older than Biden. But I've got a long history with Savello as well. I, mean, I can remember when they produced their first crazy aero bikes. They look like the insect enemy out of Starship Troopers with a pair of wheels jammed in it. And then I used to fly the P-Series aero bikes and triathlon ma magazines when I was testing them. And believe me, you did fly those bikes. They were not a normal vehicle. The aerodynamics on those were incredible. And then there were the Super Light R Series bikes. The, the original Soloist. A bike I think I described as the ultimate battle axe for the breakaway Berserker. You know, because I love a bit of alliteration. But this bike kind of in a way, compared to those bikes, it's the most boring bike that Cervelo have ever made. But, in terms of where it'll let you go, it's perhaps the most interesting bike they've ever made. Look at that. For a view of Hadrian's Wall. This is proper frontier stuff. And this is a bike that loves this rugged, ragged edge riding. And that extra capability and control comes from the fact that not only have you got 34 mil tire clearance and the drop stays from the Aspero gravel bike, but you've also got more relaxed 72 degree head angle 50 mil fork offset, so our series bikes are 73, 45 mil offset. But it's still a race bike at heart. You've still got full aero treatment on the head tube and the down tube. Still got a sub kilo frame. And the power delivery on this bike is fantastic. So, while this machine might be rugged. It's seriously 
rapid as well. <laughs> and it's just still blisteringly quick and responsive. Even with those bigger tyres on, this new force gear set really is beautiful to work with. Big fan of single ring on a road bike. And big tyres at 50 psi on those 40, 44 mil wide section reserve wheels. This is a bike that loves to descend. <laughs> yeah, baby. Damn, this bike is beautiful to ride. Woohoo! <laughs> So flat is and yet so responsive still. And the bigger you go on the tyres, the bigger the trail effect. So the more stable it feels. Just winning all the way. And the native tribes up here during the Roman period were called the Picts. And I could not have picked a better place to come and ride this bike. Look at that. Timeless. And talking of timeless, they haven't resurrected any weird MTV suspension ideas. It died for good reason in the 1990s. So it's beautiful, clean and reliable. Not cursed with some kind of weird gargoyle head tube. And while it might be as power happy and aero there's a lot of race bikes. It's also got hidden mudguard mounts or fenders if you're in the US. For the days when it's wet, you don't fancy colonic irrigation. And those big 34 mil tires, the more stable handling means that you don't have to stop when the road stops. Well, as long as you don't tell Brian anyway. No. But while it's not the Aspro gravel race bike, the Speed Freak S or P series machine, or an Ultralight R series Alp Crusher, the Caledonia takes everything Cervelo know about, these extremes of well-being performance, and it blends it with expertly curated carbon comfort and big rubber buoyancy. And that just creates this deliciously addictive way to shrink distances, expand your horizons and push your road riding boundaries further north of normal than ever before. Perfect then for stupid adventures like this, galloping off into the wilds where the Roman cavalry and Celtic tribes used to chase each other around. So while the radical race bikes in the Cervelo clan might get the headlines, the Caledonia is the real world hero this is a bike that genuinely makes every day exceptional. But for now, I've been Guy Kesteven on Guy Kest TV doing a big stupid ride on the Cervelo Caledonia. Charge!